here on the con floor, last day, San Diego Comic-Con 2022 with Mr. Steve Wang of Elite Creature Collectibles. How are you doing there, Mr. Steve? I'm very good, how are you? Doing awesome. You've got this rascal here. Can you go about a little bit about this and what some of the new things you've got on the grid? Yeah, for this year, uh, since the pandemic had happened a few years ago, we've, rather than getting new licenses, we've uh, ended up spending all the time to basically deliver all the, the stuff that we had made that was pre-sold. So that's been done, and then uh, starting this year, we started doing a lot more original stuff uh, until our new licenses all kick in. So this first piece here is called the Scorpion. It's a piece that I designed and sculpted and painted, uh, part of our original artist line. Uh, you'll see a lot of that on in, on the floor this time. Um, and so this is, you know, the the idea that this is like a demon from hell, and it's you know it's a lot of fun. A lot of people love this crazy mandibles, and teeth, and tongue. It's not like really kind of gross looking. So I made this for like the fans of horror. Primarily, yeah. It's a very detailed piece. It looks, it looks like real, like it's like going to come alive or something like that, man. Thank you. Yeah, I mean that's my job. My job, you know, I've worked in the movie business for 37 years now, so. We've yeah. also got some Marvel stuff, uh, like this dead on, almost looks real, like they're going to come alive. Uh, Doctor Strange and some of the Marvels and some new ones. What's some of the and some Captain America? Some of the other ones you got going on? Uh, that's actually Queen Studio. It's not affiliated with us, uh, but we're sharing a booth together. So, uh, but yeah, they they make fantastic uh, Marvel stuff. Those some of y'all's other items. I think we got a whole some aliens here. What are these aliens about? I saw them earlier. Yeah, do you want to go over there and yeah. look at it? Yeah. Let's walk to the aliens. We're walking and running and gun here. She's got some alien goodness. So we we've since the beginning of uh, Elite Creature Collectibles, we've been doing original alien lines. A lot of them are inspired by actual like stories from people who have testimonies of who have been abducted by aliens. So. Yeah, exactly. We've done like the standard gray, we've done the mantis, you know, we've done like the Dulce underground base, the evil grays. So this one here is the reptilian gray. Apparently, yeah, apparently there's been like uh, stories of people who have been abducted by gray aliens that if, when you get up close, you realize that their skins are very, so they have like a reptilian texture to them. Yeah, yeah, so this is kind of like my version of what one of these guys will look like. Um, and uh, yeah, and it... See what you got, see what you got about these is that usually they have these big dark eyes but if you look up close there's a grid pattern on oh, them wow. yeah these are actually like contact lenses that they wear it's not really their real eyes so that's why they all have th these emotionless black eyes yeah so yeah so this is the, the newest series that I'm doing and there's gonna be a lot more coming we're gonna be like tackling like the reptilians the Andromedans I mean there's you know this is this is more like a side thing that we do it for for all the alien fans of like real aliens and stuff it's totally that's dead on likeness of him <laughs> i was gonna say you've got all this uh really awesome so how do you go about creating what are these made out of and how long does it take for the creation process to get it to like from beginning to finish and stuff yeah, well i mean we have two ways doing it like this one here is digital i, I sculpted these in digital zbrush but we also do a lot of traditional like clay like the scorpion you saw that was all done in clay so yeah so we have two, two different ways to do it uh, usually we start out with the design and then we'll do the we'll spend the time to sculpt it whether it's digital or traditional once that's done then we mold the piece uh, then we will cast them and then we'll, we'll do the painting on them uh, and then once the, all the prototypes have been approved we'll send it to our factories and then they'll mass produce them and they cast them out of polystone so they're really heavy but they're also translucent resin as well so when we paint them they'll have a nice skin quality to them yeah, exactly. So I gotta ask you got you got these. You have any upcoming stuff for the license? Y'all gonna be coming kind of in the pipeline? You can mention. Yeah, yeah. We uh, actually got the uh, license for Jurassic Park. Nice. Yeah, and so we're gonna be putting out a, uh, a premium line of really high-end Jurassic Park stuff, and we're also gonna be putting a lot of stuff like there's some stuff underneath that right. counter there. There's a little amber egg with a mosquito in it. Oh, the one that the, the man had, the old guy found in the game. Yeah, that thing is completely 3D printed. It's amazing. You can get up this close to it and it's completely 3D printed, you can't tell. And then little T-Rex skeletons and you know, so we're going to be doing a lot of stuff from Jurassic Park, uh, and, but do it to our premium quality. Um, another thing we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing ET as well. Yeah, we aim to put out the best life-size ET collectible you can get. So that's that's one thing we're going to be doing as, along with my cats. Um, and then we also got Hellboy and Hellboy oh, nice. 2. Yeah, we're gonna do Hellboy. We're gonna do Ape Sapien. There's not a whole lot of Ape Sapiens there's out there, and there's no life-size Ape, Ape Sapien bus out there. So we're working on that right now. Hellboy is gonna be silicone, the first silicone Hellboy out there. So it'll have the glass eyes. Hair will be all hand punched. Yeah, it's gonna be a really premium product that we're aiming to put out. It's gonna be sick. 
So where do people go to find out about Elite Creature Collectibles on the internet and Facebook? You can go to our website, EliteCreature.com, or also if you, if you live in the domestic U.S., you can go to CinemaKit.com and sign up for uh, updates. So whenever one of these pieces come out, uh, you'll, you'll get a notification and then you can pre-order stuff. Because the way the collectible works is that there's a pre-order window. That, that it's only for a certain amount of time. And if you miss it, you'll, you'll miss the thing, you know, yeah. So it's really important to keep up, up to date. So if there's a piece that you want, when you get the not notification, that's the time to buy. So Mr. Steve, thank you so much for talking. So Owen with Science Fiction coming in from San Diego Comic Con 2022. Signing off.